Welcome in today's tutorial where I want to show you how to achieve this kind of transitions and animations for your slides. A very clean and seamless animation which uses the same element which is this picture going onto the next slide with the help of the morph transition. Let's get at it right away. Do not waste any time, I've prepared a picture for me and a couple of icons and some text boxes. If you are creating this slide from scratch, you only need a picture. The rest is just um, additional elements. So I'm taking this picture and I want to make sure that this picture is big enough. So I click on the picture, picture format, crop, and I extend the crop to here and to the bottom. And currently I can again click on crop and select fill. All right, now I know that the picture is a bit bigger. I move the crop to the right side because I want like more space for my slide. I can see how much space by this. This is the middle of the slide, the zero. So when I move this and I watch on the top side, as I hit the zero, this will be like almost perfectly half of the slide. This is okay. I think about how to reposition this picture, maybe more to the left side. We have still some space here and I hit crop, boom, perfect. We have the right side of the slide filled out with the picture. Now, since I do want some text, I go to insert, shapes, and I insert a text box. On older versions, we do not have this, so you can simply click text box and you can click on a new text box. Example text. To make this look a little bit better, I've used a sample text, which is lorem ipsum, so I'll just quickly control C, go into this slide and control V the text. Well, the text doesn't have to be the same, the same size and the same font. I used quicksand because this is a great looking font, but you can use any font you'd like. So this would be my initial design. Now the entire idea behind this slide is to make a morph animation with the same picture. But look what you can do with that. You can take the existing picture, control C, take it onto the another slide and press control V. Currently it will be placed in the same space on the right side of the slide and it looks the same, but I can again I click on picture format since I have the picture selected, click on crop. Now I will extend the crop to the entire slide, right to the end of the slide. Uh, here I do not see the end, so I need to move it. Okay, I see the end of the slide is here and the top and bottom was already adjusted. So we do not have to do anything here. My next step, while the crop is still enabled, I go again to crop and again fill. PowerPoint helps me to fill out the picture, to make the picture big enough so it fills the entire space which I prepared, which is in my case the entire slide. And perfect, I hit on crop. Once you have the picture filled out to the entire slide, you can go to transitions and you can preview what you did by selecting morph. You can see already something great is happening because this picture, this crop is being extended to the entire slide and PowerPoint takes care of the entire animation. I want to again click on the picture. I want to go to picture format. I want to show you and emphasize that you can do adjustments to the picture, like for example, a color correction, and the picture will be still the same picture only with those adjustments and PowerPoint will seamlessly animate into this picture. I want this picture darker because I want those um, white icons to be visible in a second. Okay. Once again, I want to preview it just for, for myself. Okay, this picture is beautifully getting darker. Now you can imagine mm, what I'll do. I'll take out all the icons. I want to make sure that the icons are on top of this picture. So I right click, bring to front. So everything is brought to front and now the icons will be visible. Now it is a matter of like placing the icons, play, placing the text. It depends on how much text do you want. On this slide, I make it like that, but let's, for example, sh change here and make it like this. Of course, I'm not perfectly equal in the spaces between them. If I would like to be perfectly equal between them, I would select all four of them. I would go to my shape format, depending on what this is. Align first, align middle. So they are in one equal line. Then again, align and align selected object is selected. So they will align to each other and I'll distribute them horizontally. This makes sure that given the size, they will have equal spaces between each other. All right, the item one, well, this is just a little addition, this text, but okay, 
I've opted in to make this. I will place it on the left, Control D here, barely space between them. I don't like this. So I will make them a bit smaller by using my Control and left bracket key. Uh, you can do it like that. Make it smaller. Again, Control D here, Control D here. I should make the same things with the alignment, but let's not waste time on that. You already know how, how to align elements. All right, so I've placed everything on my slide. I would maybe want a title here. I gave a title here, but actually those icons look fine. When we now go to the transitions and when we hit morph once again to always, you can go to transitions and hit morph to preview this animation. You can see those icons are simply fading in. Why is that? Because morph needs information from the previous slide to animate items into this next slide. As you read the morph description, to get the best results, duplicate a slide, move things around, apply the morph transition. You do not always have to duplicate slides. You can be smart about this because I have those elements here. We had the picture pre previously, but we do not have those icons previously. So your last adjustment here will be you take all those icons, Control C, and simply Control V them here on the slide. But they need to be like repositioned. They absolutely have to be outside of the, of the main frame. All right, I will distribute them just a little bit around the slide. So we randomize the morph movement a little bit. And now it depends on you how you want the morph movement to happen. If you go to transitions, morph, you can see they are flying in very equally. But if I, for example, take the text and I maybe I place the text in different places so it comes a little bit randomized from left from right, just to give um, this entire animation a little bit more taste and maybe it's not the perfect look, but that's the look I wanted to go uh, here for. All right, this would be my finalized animation. I have slide number one with a picture. I have slide number two with the same picture, but it is cropped enlarged and darkened. The most beautiful thing for me here is the picture because PowerPoint is doing so much work, changing the picture, changing the color, adjusting it and making a seamless morph between them. The icons is just a little nice touch and addition. I hope this will be a very helpful for your slide creation and animation. And I hope this tutorial is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I've really enjoyed to create this and I can't wait to see you in other tutorials like that and in other lectures. See you then.